Hello, and welcome back to my Q&A video series about the Pandas library in Python. And the question for today is, when should I use a group by in Pandas? Okay, so let's jump right in and pull up an example data set. So we'll import Pandas as PD. And then our data set is um, alcohol consumption by country. So we'll say drinks equals pd.readcsv. And then we'll use the URL bit.ly drinks by country. Okay. So let's take a look at this data frame. And uh, perhaps one, our, one of our questions that we want to answer is what is the average beer servings across all countries? Okay. So it's actually pretty simple to answer that question. All we would do is we would just say drinks.beerservings.mean, okay? And now we can see that across the entire data set, the average beer servings is 106. Now, what if you wanted to actually uh, look at this, um, look at beer servings by continent? In other words, you wanted to know how it varied from Asia to Europe to Africa, okay? So this is where a group by is useful. So what we'll say is drinks.groupbycontinent.beerservings.mean, okay? Now, all I did was added in a group by continent right into here. And what this shows us, that the average beer servings for countries in Africa is 61, for Asia is 37, for Europe is 193, and so on, okay? So, uh, if you're trying to figure out how this actually works, um, this might help. So, uh, let's, um, Let's actually just filter the data frame by Africa for a moment. So we'll say drinks with bracket notation. And we'll say drinks dot continent equals uh, Africa. Okay. Now, by doing that, we're now only looking at the portion of the data frame that is countries in Africa. And all we have to do from there is say dot beer servings dot mean, okay? And we get this 61 number, okay, that we've seen here. So all a group by is doing is it's looking at, it's filtering the data frame by continent in this case, okay? And then taking the beer servings and the mean, okay? So this is really just an operation that's repeated multiple times. Here's Asia, here's Europe, and so on, okay? So uh, when should you use a group by in general? I would say that the role of group by is anytime you wanna analyze some pandas series by some category, okay? So in this case, the category is continent, and I wanna analyze beer servings by category. So I find that, um, if you can rephrase your question as uh, for each, then that's a good candidate for a group by. So for example, uh, this I would phrase as for each continent, what is the mean beer servings, okay? All right, so uh, it turns out that um, mean is not the only aggregation function you can use. So for example, you can use the function max instead. And this is showing me the max beer servings by continent, okay? You could even look at the min, the min beer servings by continent, okay? So um, that's pretty cool, I think. But even more powerful than that is there's this function called dot ag, okay? And dot ag allows us to specify multiple aggregation functions at once. So we can say, 
for instance, count uh, min, uh, max, and uh, mean. Okay. So when we run this, the mean column we've seen before, we see that Africa, 61, Asia, 37, etc. So this is mean beer servings across the continents. But here's the min and the max as well. And here's the count. So what's the number of records in, uh, in the data frame with continent Africa? In other words, how many countries are in Africa? Okay. So uh, as always, we're going to end with a bonus. And the bonus tip is uh, pretty cool. So um, turns out that when writing a group by, you don't actually have to specify a column like beer servings. You can just not specify it at all, and it will calculate uh, the mean, in this case, across all of the numeric columns. Okay. Now, this isn't a great idea if you have a lot of numeric columns, but if you have only four numeric columns, this works quite well. And now I can see the mean beer servings across continent, the mean spirit servings, mean wine servings, and total liters of pure alcohol. Okay. And the final tip for today is that I can actually really easily display this in visual form. Okay. So if you're in the IPython notebook, I just need you to run percent mat plot lib inline, okay? You don't have to run that if you're in another Python IDE, but um, in IPython notebook, this is what allows plots to appear in the notebook, okay? And then here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take this line of code and you're gonna say dot plot kind equals bar. And this generates uh, a side-by-side -side bar plot, okay? So uh, we can see for Africa, their average beer servings was some, you know, something around 60. Average spirit servings was maybe 15 or 20. Same thing for wine servings. And total liters uh, was, you know, just a couple, okay? So uh, this is just displaying this information as side-by-side -side bar plots, okay? So it's not the most amazing plot. Um, it could certainly use some enhancements, and we'll talk more about plotting with pandas in a future video, but um, it's not bad, I think, for a single line of code. Okay? So that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me. Please click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, and uh, please go to the comment section below and leave a tip or a question, and we can all help each other to learn, okay? So thanks again, and I hope to see you again soon.